Hello everyone and welcome to this new video, I'm Umbra and today I'm gonna explain you how the counter system works and why it's so important. Since the 2.0, the devs released the new counter system based on the size of the unit. As this picture show, the small unit deals an increased damage versus large and receive an increased damage from medium unit. The formation commander determines the countering relationship according to the physics type of the unit in this formation. So basically the small unit inflict more damage on a big unit, the big unit inflict more damage on a medium and the medium on a small. And that is based on the commander formation not on the entire army. This is the first big mistake I want to clarify, the damage of the countering system doesn't apply only when the entire army is composed by one unit that counter the enemy unit, but this applies on a singular formation, so if you have one medium unit and three small unit, the medium unit gonna counter all the small unit of the enemy, so for example if you fight an enemy with four small unit and you have only two medium unit and two small unit, you're gonna have normal damage with your two small unit formation and you're gonna have the bonus of the countering with the two formation with the medium unit. It's not related to the entire army but to the formation. Report like that where it's show on the screen the counter is active here are the reason cause the people don't understand the system cause this counter here appear only when your entire army is composed by unit that counter the enemy army. But absolutely doesn't work like that and I have proof for show you that. I have fight some battle with Kamul that have 2930 of damage so a very stable amount of damage with the skill ring rate that apply in the first round so I gonna have a clear proof of what I'm saying. Cause yes of course when I talk about the bonus damage for the formation I think about troops and commanders so also your commander gonna benefit from the countering and this is why it's really really important. I test all the battle versus the same mob level 20 so I'm gonna have a stable result in terms of enemy. In the first report I use small unit versus small unit for have the reference damage as base. If I go on the details and search for the first hit of the nut school skill I can see here 2.7k of focus damage on brawler and this is without the counter system. And all the hit of ring rate is 2.7k cause the damage is so stable you can see here another 2.7k so the damage damage is this. In this second report I have mixed troops so I have medium unit on Kamul for have the bonus and I have small unit on Saruman for don't have the set effect. So I don't have the arrow with the right counter but I have the counter system active on my Kamul right now cause it's related to the formation. In fact if I go into the details and search for the first nut school skill of my Kamul I have 3.2k of focus damage. The next focus damage is 3.2k. On round 2 again I have 3.2k and the last hit is again 3.2k so you can see the damage is applied here with the multiplier of the counter system. So in the first report without the countering system I have 2.7, in the second report I have 3.2 is 500 more damage and that is 18.5% increased damage. Running multiple tests I found that percentage is between 15% and 20% depends of the level of your army, so as higher is the level of your commander, as higher is the countering system effectiveness. And that is a very big improvement for your damage, consider commander that already inflict 100k of damage each battle, you can have 120k from them, and that is very very strong, that make the difference between a draw and a victory, or is 10 if you get countered that can make the difference between a draw and a defeat, cause yes if you counter the enemy you have 20% more damage, but if you get counter you have 20% damage received augmented, so can be 40% difference in terms of the final result. So how to build your formation for never get counter is impossible of course, cause depends all on what your enemy run. What I notice is that is risky run all the troop like I do in this formation all medium for example, cause if you get counter all your army are countered, sometimes it's better like place two medium 
and too small for have a different kind of counter and not get countered completely if you are really unlucky and you fight an enemy with all the counter unit versus your army but all depends of what your enemy runs so you need to look at what your enemy run and counter them it's very easy to say but I know it's hard sometimes because people also gonna adapt the strategy to you so be flexible prepare medium unit and small unit that are not very expensive that is important in a current meta because you need to have a troop always available I don't suggest you to prepare big unit because are very expensive and try to mix that for make a formation that counter always a bit your enemy and you can gain something from that so I hope this video gonna be useful because I see a lot of confusion in my server and also in the other server about the countering system a lot of people don't know that effect the commander also and a lot of people thinks is related to the entire army and not to the formation so with this report I hope that is clear now I hope you enjoy this video if you like it just smash like on that and also subscribe to my channel if you're not already let me know in the comment if you have more dub or question about this system as always I want to remember you have an affiliate link with the game that's allow you to buy gems from the official site of the game and if you choose to use my link the devs gonna recognize me a little commission of what you spend and you're gonna support directly my channel you're gonna find the link in the description of the video and also in the first comment again thank you for following me and see you in the next woo